Now you are going to cover uh, adding new fields or populating existing field to FBL 5N. Again, this is used for customer data, customer display line items. Okay, FBL 11 was vendor, FBL 3N was GL, and FBL 5N is customer. So it's you can do like this V G C. Okay, vendor V G is uh, GL account C is customer. Okay, so again the same step. You extend this this particular structure, and then you just need to regenerate using this program. Remember, this program is very much critical. It may work perfectly in your dev system when you move to QA. It's not working. Oh, it's not working because you didn't run this program. So mark it that this is your cutover activity. The next thing is we'll again create a bis, uh, function group. It's the same function group. You can use the same function model because you have to use the same function model and you can put, again, put filters in your code, which, which particular transaction code you want to use for what, okay? So they might be specific for something customer, something specific for vendors. So you want to put filters on it so that, you know, your code doesn't go for a toss. Uh, so this is important. Again, then you have to add uh, data to your uh, code to your business transaction event. Again, the FIBF code to implement the business transaction event needs to be needs to be fulfilled, and uh, this will be already implemented, and we'll see how it works. So this will cover everything about FBL5N. We'll see it in the system later on.